Right now, 63% of people in Travis County are fully vaccinated against COVID-19. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Robert Havlock. And I'm Britt Marino. Health leaders are saying one of the biggest challenges is trying to convince people who have had the virus to get vaccinated. Research shows that people who have recovered from the virus have natural antibodies to COVID-19. KXAN Sarah Rahman spoke with someone who is testing himself for antibodies and is resisting calls to get the shots wasn't a terrible illness. Brandon Dykes contracted COVID-19 in March. Then so did the rest of his family. Luckily, they all had mild symptoms. We were still kind of weighing the pros and cons and deciding whether or not that was going to be something that we did. But instantly that was that was kind of foreshortened by our contracting the disease itself. Dyke says they still have questions about the COVID-19 vaccines, and now that they have natural antibodies against the virus, they don't feel the urgency to get one. In June, the Cleveland Clinic released a study that found out of their more than 1,300 unvaccinated employees who previously had the coronavirus, none of them got reinfected, but said findings were preliminary and still encouraged everyone to get vaccinated. The study has not been peer reviewed. Your arm might be a little bit sore. We don't a later report by the National Institutes for Health found that antibodies generated by the mRNA vaccine target more variants compared to antibodies acquired from an infection. An infectious disease specialist with the Texas Medical Association says vaccines also give you more antibodies. When you have the infection, the antibody levels that you get afterwards when you recover are significantly lower than the antibody levels generated by the mRNA vaccines used in the United States. The CDC echoes that message, saying vaccines give a strong boost in protection for recovered COVID-19 patients. Dyke says he gets tested for antibodies regularly and doesn't see the need for extra antibodies through a vaccine until his own run out. Those of us that have had COVID and feel like we're protected, we're not trying to kill grandma. We're just making a personal decision. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. The infectious disease expert with the Texas Medical Association says natural antibodies may be able to reproduce for someone's entire life. But you have to factor in how quickly the body can ramp up that antibody production when it's exposed to the virus and what the incubation period is for that disease. He says if the incubation period is short enough, you could be reinfected. Now, there are some tests to help you determine if your body has produced those antibodies. In April, we told you about a new spike antibody test. With a simple blood draw, the test searches for spike proteins, which present themselves after getting the vaccine. Clinics, Quest Diagnostics, and various urgent care clinics offer this test. But the key is to make sure you wait at least two weeks after being vaccinated. Other locations where you can get an antibody test include CVS pharmacies, Austin Regional Clinic, Texas Medical Clinic, and UT Health Austin. Our local blood bank, We Are Blood, stopped conducting antibody tests on donations on Saturday. We Are Blood used the testing to find convalescent plasma donors who could help hospitalize COVID-19 patients. The blood bank says it stopped antibody testing because there is enough plasma on hand now to treat people in hospitals and clinics. The state just reported 259 people were admitted to hospitals for COVID-19 yesterday. There are more than 6,800 Texans hospitalized with COVID across our state. That's the highest number since February 22nd. 